thousand dollars for that? I don't even know who's scamming who. At that point. <laughs> That's the thing. It's the fucking Ouroboros of scams. Everyone's scamming each other. Everyone's got their hand in each other's yep. pocket. TM Frank's the vodka. <laughs> oh, oh my god! All right, so it goes on for a while to outlaw, lay out the way. In which I thought it was an actual poll. <laughs> no, not like, no. not not it like, a not like. Ball. Which, which reality host has the best relationship with his kids? <laughs> like on MSN. All right, so, so that's pretty funny. But okay, here's where it gets pretty pretty juicy. Pretty yeah, now saucy. we're talking. This is where it's let's, getting let's, hot. Let's get. Let's go. Let's go. Fall, tra- Fallwell's after dark. Yeah. Liberty University Knights. Michael Cohen's connection to Jerry Falwell Jr. veers into deeply personal territory. In May 2019, Reuters reported that Cohen helped Falwell contain the fallout from some racy personal photos. Later that month, Falwell took to Todd Starnes' radio show to rebut the claims. All your friends are involved. <laughs> All the characters are involved in this. This is evangelical Todd- kingdom hearts. <laughs> I love this. I love this. Okay, so he rebutted the claims on Todd Starn's radio show. Like, when you have to look for, like, the wettest simp <laughs> to give you the softest interview to cover up something deeply embarrassing, yeah. it's it's the piss-drinking NRA guy. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, t- of course, Todd Starnes allegedly. This is an long- online joke about Todd Starnes right, that, yeah. he drinks piss. that he drinks piss. I don't know if Todd Starnes yeah. drinks piss. I do know that he... drinks he, sweet, that awful sweet tea, I do know that he looks, like, piss. he looks like a diabetic cabbage patch kid. Okay. Sweet tea is like a drink a bug would make. <laughs> it sucks. Okay, so... <laughs> Falwell goes on Todd Starnes' radio show and says, This report is not inaccurate, Falwell said. There are no compromising or embarrassing photos of me. Falwell's inner, members of Falwell's inner circle took note of the phrasing. If you read how Jerry is framing his response, you can see he is being very selective, one of Falwell's confidence said. Racy photos do exist, but at least some of the photos are of his wife, Becky, as the Miami Herald confirmed in June. Longtime Liberty officials said close to Falwell told me the university president has shown or texted his male confidants, including at least in one employee who worked for him at Liberty, photos of his wife in provocative and sexual poses. At Liberty, Falwell is very, very vocal about his sex life, in the words of one Liberty official. A characterization multiple current and former university officials and employees interviewed for this story support. In a car ride about a decade ago with a senior university official who has since left Liberty, all he wanted to talk about was how he would nail his wife, how she couldn't handle his <laughs> penis size, and stuff of that sort. You know, things of that nature. Things of that nature. This former official recalled Falwell did not respond to questions about the incident. More than simply talking with employees about his wife in a sexual manner, on at least one occasion, Falwell shared a photo of his wife wearing what appeared to be a French maid costume, according to the Longtime Liberty of the Universe. By the way, just take a shot every time the phrase "longtime Liberty employee or official" <laughs> comes up in this article. Falwell intended to send the image to his and Becky's personal trainer, Ben Crosswhite, as a thank you for helping his <laughs> wife achieve her fitness goals. The employee said, "In the course of texting." Falwell accidentally sent the message to several other people, (laughs) necessitating a cleanup. In a statement, Falwell denied this. I never had any picture of Becky Falwell dressed in a French maid uniform and never sent such a non-existent photo to Ben Crosswhite. Crosswhite did not respond to requests for comment. Crosswhite is another figure who comes up in this, who is Falwell's personal trainer, who has, guess what, a close relationship with Falwell and his wife Becky, who, guess what, They've another hot young stud. They've given some insane real estate deal to the second one. The second one we've talked about before. The original story, not even mentioned in this reporting, was the Miami pool boy yes. who Falwell and his wife basically just gifted a youth hostel in Miami, Florida. Yeah. Yes, to and run to run for them. This guy, his personal trainer, they gave him a gymnasium that was on the property and that he was using and then they just said you know what uh we'll just basically uh we'll let you buy it but we'll also give you like 20 years worth of rent in advance so that the price is basically on not july 23rd 2013 liberty university began renting space to cross white 
for use as a fitness center. The facility was specifically built into the old racket club for Jerry and Becky to train privately with Crosswhite, a longtime university official familiar with the arrangement said. Over the course of the Falwell's private training... They built... They used the m- money of the university to build a swingers dojo <laughs> where they could just get, like, loose and sweaty with their fucking personal trainer. Liberty <laughs> began to pay for expensive upgrades to the facility, according to documents yeah, reviewed. Yeah, swings, <laughs> uh, those cross expat things with we the raised his cuffs. rent sum to cover the investment liberty university then sold it to ben nobody else was allowed to bid on it <laughs> in a september 2015 email liberty university vice president and chief operating officer randy smith wrote cross white to let him know the terms of the deal the university would sell cross white the club and all real estate associated with it for 1.2 million dollars Liberty employees would be allowed to use the facility. Uh, Crosswhite could decide what the value of that was, roughly $82,000 per year, he decided, and the school would pay in advance for seven years of use. <laughs> and closing, per Falwell's approval, Liberty would pay Crosswhite approximately $575,000, which effectively cut Crosswhite's total cost for the $1.2 million property in half. The net amount you would need at closing is $640,000, more or less, Smith wrote. After reviewing, if the terms are acceptable to you, then I will get a final approval from Jerry to proceed. Smith wrote Crosswhite. Hell of a deal, a former high-ranking Liberty official told me. We gave Ben everything he asked for. Uh, there was really funny uh, a video again that leaked on Twitter. I don't know if John Gager and Redfinch LLC is trying to shadow ban it, <laughs> but it's a uh, Falwell uh, you know like like pushing one of those weight sleds yeah, yeah, with yeah. Crosswhite sitting on it and it's Crosswhite holding the camera in front of him. And it's like, it, what it looks like is a sweaty older man over his shoulder huffing and puffing <laughs> while Ben Crosswhite thinks, says, says things like, faster, tiger. <laughs> get it, get it, over and over again. A little faster. Come on, push it, a little faster. Let's go, come on. That's Her- just, that's a real estate business team building <laughs> exercise. <laughs> okay. All right. So, Holy f- Fuck. So also Jerry Falwell is way too old to be doing push sleds with the body weight of like a trainer on it. He's gonna fuck up his back. So okay, we now have this whole saga about how Falwell Jr. is a I love to do my wife guy. He loves and to loves do his bragging wife. to his friends about how like my, my wife like like he, she can't take it, but I'm giving it out <laughs> nonetheless. G- and then, g- guess guess what? Guess what? I'm me and my wife can run out of condoms. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Cool, man. So originally when the pool boy story broke, uh, my conception of the story was like, this is obviously evangelical Christian leader, sweetheart real estate deal to a Miami pool boy. This is obviously uh, some closeted gay stuff going on here. But with the involvement of the wife, this begs the question, is this are they like what's is this is this is more of the the swinger hot wife thing yes. than the traditional closeted evangelical yeah, your, guy your Ted Haggard thing yeah, yeah the Ted Haggard doing meth with with uh, you know rough trade yeah so I mean again like it just brings a question what's going on here <laughs> what's going on here between Jerry Becky and all of these young studs that they keep <laughs> giving millions of dollars to. I mean, I mean, I, maybe he's a really good personal trainer. I'm sure he is. He's probably kind of, kind of. And that pool boy really knows how to fucking skim. <laughs> yeah, you could probably just you can serve a meal out of off that pool. Yeah, I'd imagine. <sighs> I mean, how cool is it though to just like send your employees photos of your wife dressed as a French maid? And maybe like when he said like she's not there are no photos of Becky. There are, it is non-existent of any photos of Becky dressed as a French maid. <laughs> It's just like when in, reality, when in reality she was dressed as a sexy nurse. Yeah, exactly. It came from Halloween Express. Yeah, <laughs> I love. I do love the French maid. Just the most boring, the most hackney nineteen fifties ass fucking fantasy. Dressed as a Playboy bunny yeah, with right. ears and shit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we're going on vacation. My wife's gonna wear a bikini. <laughs> cool. <laughs> fucking dope, man. <laughs> So it just goes on and on about how the the athletic facility that was uh, basically gifted to Ben Crosswhite was, uh, quote, a drain on the university resources that was disproportionate to his value. You mean the thing that they built just so that they could get nude with their fucking correct trainer was not financially viable <laughs> for them? I mean, that's the Equinox model. <laughs> yeah, but you, they let other people in. That's a good point. So, I mean, like, the piece goes, like, it, it goes on and on to talk about, like, their relationship with Michael Cohen's and the Trumps and how they, like, 
literally changed the graduation schedule of Liberty University so that the students could vote in local Lynchburg elections to swing it towards, you know, their they, uh, preferred conservative politicians. They got, they got a vendor to sell Trump Liberty T-shirts, which yeah, is said, completely illegal. Yeah, make it said uh, they're selling Trump merchandise through the university as a 5013C or whatever. Yeah. Uh, shirts that say Liberty University, Trump. And then it says making America great one degree <laughs> at a time. Wildly uh, illegal. Just blowing the doors off and again, of like nonprofit like, status there. By and doing that. like the final part of the article is like talking about yeah all the shady nonprofit stuff like and their electioneering for Donald Trump, and then again it comes back to this question like who is scamming who like who's getting the most out of this relationship is it Donald Trump or is it Jerry Falwell Jr. and the piece and the people surrounding him all of these you know longtime associates and anonymous Liberty University officials say that like no Trump really isn't getting anything out of this it's Jerry Jr that through his connection to Trump is like recreating the role his father once had as like the approximation of like a right. political kingmaker. Yeah. Cause like the idea that, that evangelical leaders needed to sign off on Trump for their fucking supporters to vote for him is ridiculous. He hit all the Q zones. He was going to get their vote no matter what, but he Falwell gets to enter like, rent seek basically by putting himself between the followers and trump because trump doesn't know any better he gets to sell himself as the guy who can like deliver them for them even though he really doesn't have that power it says he has the charisma of a wet sponge so i guess really like the guy top of the totem pole here is hot young studs yes, yes. they're making out the best out of this absolutely yes. yeah they're all you gotta it. do is pipe down the hot wife for a bit and then you get a fucking uh chalet you, you you get a functioning uh uh, uh you you get a functioning recycling center in with the, a three million dollars a year profit margin in the ruins of the late American Empire the collapse of the American Empire and the dawn of whatever the next thing is our new John Jacob Astors our our new generation of great <laughs> rich men will be the young Chads who <laughs> scam their initial fortune out of Jerry off Falwell of the, Jr. Off of the horny fail sons who hold all of the capital <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's the only real redistribution we're going to get. So yeah. people need to start, like, blasting their fucking abs and get out there. Get on the fucking websites where you can hook up with the, your sugar daddies so, and such. The new robber barons will be the chads of today. Yes. So, like, you know, like to, to, to sort of, like, to, to bring this all together, bring it all home. Like, it gets into the question of, like, uh, people, and like liberals especially, and people in the media, like the Aaron Sorkin, like, how dare you, or, like, the, the, the hypocrisy hounds out there will often make uh, a big deal out of, like, the fact that, like, Donald Trump is the most popular figure in evangelical America far yeah, and away. He's, by like, far. By far. And, like, that they are ride or die for Donald Trump. And they'd be like, you know, how could they do this? I mean, like, he slipped. He he paid to fuck a porn star, you know, yeah. like, while his wife was pregnant with their child. You know, how can they abide this? And I think it's, like, typical to liberals, like, blinkered worldview is that they don't understand that there is 